In Broward County, while county leaders try to limit the spread of coronavirus, they are coming to grips with the economic impact in the, in the outbreak. Uh, today, the county commission had a workshop and heard from all agencies on the effects of the shutdown. CBS 4's Joe Murray is in Fort Lauderdale Beach with what they learned. Joan? Well, it is a beautiful day at the beach, but the backstory here is basically everything is shut. That means nothing is open, people aren't working, and that means less revenue for the county. The normally busy breezeway at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International empty. Planes are parked. The parking lots have plenty of space. Travel is down to a trickle. It equals a drastic cut in revenue and jobs. Part of the bad news delivered to Broward County commissioners on the impact the coronavirus outbreak is having countywide. Port Everglades had a slightly better picture. While the cruise industry is shut down, the port is still making money on oil and cargo. The sheriff told the commission they have enough protective gear for now. One firefighter is recovering from the virus, and they are keeping thousands of staff okay, okay. and jail inmates safe. Every single one of our deputies that come into work and our civilian staff uh, go through a basically uh, t quick interview process that, as to whether or not they've been exposed. We check their temperature, and then we'll allow them to come into work. The most dismal news from the Tourism Bureau. The beaches remain shut. So are hotels and restaurants. Thousands are out of work suddenly, and we haven't hit rock bottom yet. This is the most severe hit to a hotel chain since the Great Depression and World War II. There's an eye towards some recovery in the summer. There's three things to do. You walk, you read, or you swim. Nancy and Rick Zimmerman are yearly visitors and rent a condo. They say most people in their building have booked for next year. Yeah. I have confidence in, um, in the United States, I guess. It's still a great place to come down and, and yes. spend this part of the winter, spend a week of a break. So lots of optimism among people who visit here that there will be a comeback. The question is when and how long that's going to take. On Fort Lauderdale Beach tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Joan, thank you.